day 36, I think. Um, different format of video today, just because I, I'm very keen to get to bed. It's midnight now, um, and I've just finished a Seven, seven to what was that? Five, seven, seventeen hour day. Um, just finished my second workout. Still got to do my pages. I've taken my progress picture, and I've still got to finish my water. But there's only two hundred and fifty mils left to get, which will be easy because I am thirsty. Uh, stuck to the diet, and. I, I'm harboring a bit of anger or, or whatever you want to call it for myself. Um, a, a, annoyance, maybe. Maybe annoyance. Um, fuck me. Hold on. I know it's anger. This isn't good. Anyways. Um, yeah, because I know that I can be more efficient with my time. And I know... that I am capable of calling on willpower to get shit done if I'm running behind. And I think my ego, or me and my arrogance thinks that I should call on that more than I need to. Um, for example, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit too hard on myself. Um, the example I was going to provide was I had a class tonight, finished at 9pm and I hung around after, after class and just chatting to people, not really about anything too seriously, just chatting for the sake of chatting um, to 9.30 and then I got home and I went, oh, it's, and I, the plan originally was to head straight to the gym. Um, but I went, oh, you, no, you know what, I, maybe I'll watch an episode of, of something, and I, I watched an episode of Blood of Zeus, Blood of Zeus, that was good, um, but that was another, that was another half an hour, so that, that I'm now an hour behind, I could be at home, and then I, I took my time getting, re getting ready for the gym and getting to the gym, which is why I'm, it's now midnight. And now I'm going to get maybe six hours sleep. And just because I can wake up and I can force myself through tomorrow doesn't mean I should. I There is someone out there who is doing the same thing as me but giving themselves a better chance. There, so, so, someone else is out there, is doing what I'm doing and still getting eight hours sleep. Now, I realize that I accepted that I won't always get eight hours sleep and then I used that as an excuse to deliberately not get eight hours sleep on days that I could so that I could spend that those extra two hours two and a half hours on social media or just doing some sort of time wasteful bullshit um, maybe I'm being too hard on myself I don't know besides that uh, pretty good day I, I got to got to class this morning uh, did my running session, did my HIT session, um, I had all, all of my, all classes today, every single one of them was really good, uh, really enjoyable, and I got, and I got some good shit from all of them, um, I think the reason why I'm so, the, the, the amount of annoyance I have at myself is because this is a thing that has been going on for years and I'm recognizing it and I'm talking to you about it right now and I'm not addressing it so hopefully this counts as addressing it um, no more time wasting get on with it get I could wake up with eight hours sleep tomorrow if I so chose to Um, besides that, today is what, day 35, 36, whatever it is, um, I can get better, I know I can get better, and 
I want to. I, I, I want, I don't want to commit. So here's the thing. Yes, it is a challenge. Yes, I'm doing it in unideal circumstances. But I'm start, I can feel myself starting to cruise. So I've got, I've, I've got these new habits and some new practices in place. And I'm being more consistent than I have been before, but it's not at a level that I am happy with yet. I think I can do better. Um, I want to be operating at a world-class level. And I'm, I'm, I'm one of the opinion that in order to be world-class at one thing, you have to be world-class in all areas of your life. Um, you can't just, you know, like you, you can't, you can't be an NBA player, but then train, not show, inconsistently show up to training or have an absolutely garbage diet or deliberately spend time on social media and lose sleep right before game day. Like you can't be doing that. And the same thing applies for acting. Besides that, I don't, I don't really have anything else to cover. I just want to—I want to tighten up my loose ends. Is, is what I want to do. Um, <clears throat> what were the? I can't remember the fucking questions. Uh, shoot. Because I know there were two. I know there's two questions, and I want to answer them both. Um, one sec. I am, I'm just going to pause the video so that I can go check and then I'll answer, okay? I'm, uh, this isn't me cutting a recording, I'm just pausing to check the questions because I want to do right by you. I want to value and appreciate your time and effort for asking. Okay, uh, what, question one. Uh, what would I do if, it, what, if I wasn't in the field of acting? Uh, I, I, I love caring for people, if that makes sense. Um, I, I work as a disability support care worker. I, I help mentor people with disabilities and to improve their life, their quality of life. Um, however, I love animals. I love animals. Uh, so a couple other careers that I, that I wanted as a kid. As a kid, I wanted to join the army. Uh, I thought being in the army was really cool. I, I wanted to be an astronaut until I found out you had to study for eight years to become an astronaut. Um, and the fun thing is that I am now seven years into acting, so, you know, apparently I'm supposed to make it this year. I've just pulled up to my house. Um, Jesus Christ, that's bad quality. What is happening? Anyways, um, is that better? It's better. There you go. Um, anyways. Yeah, astronaut, or I wanted to work in uh, in wildlife. I wanted to take care of animals. Uh, relocating, um, you know, Steve Irwin was a big was a big inspiration for me, and I wanted to be I wanted to be just like Steve Irwin. Um, fuck me. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other question was. Uh, what diet am I following? Uh, essentially, I can eat what I like as long as I end the day under 2,000 calories. 2,000 or under. Um, and I also need to hit, based on my activity levels, uh, 1.6 grams of protein per kilo of body weight, which is about, depending on the day, about 140 grams of protein. Which is why yesterday when I hit 255 grams, I was like, what the fuck? But I still stayed under my calorie limit. And I, I realized because I had... Yesterday I had two protein bars. And I had uh, just a, a massive fuck off can of tuna. Uh, that alone was, I think, 70 something... Oh, oh, sorry, 90 something calories. Uh, sorry, 90 something grams of protein. Uh, I had a protein shake. And I had half a chicken as well. Like just, 
all the no carbs no car it was just all protein anyways that's it um it's helping me recover quickly keep up with the workouts um but also i'm thinking of dialing it back or changing the diet from 2000 to 1500 calories now that the catch is i can have so i can say i eat 3000 calories if I do enough exercise that burns a thousand calories, I'm still okay. You know. Um, so there have been days where I've hit that three thousand mark, but I've done uh, fourteen kilometers of running that day, so it, it it equaled out. Yeah. Anyways, I'll I'll leave it there because I'm at home and I want to get to bed, and I will see you tomorrow for day thirty six, unless today's thirty six. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Cheers.